Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies. And today is June 22nd. Yesterday was Father's Day and my family and extended family and in-laws got together at my son's home in the country and when I arrived, the big discussion was this big black bear. And it decided to show up and make itself at home at one of the in-laws home. And he actually got a, this good picture of the black bear. And it was rather exciting. And we were quite in awe of the power of this black bear and actually the destruction it could do in a very short amount of time. And we went for a walk and were able to identify a lot of beautiful flowers. And one of the things in bloom were wild roses. And these are wild roses right here. And um, they were just in bloom everywhere. And then these are called blue-eyed grass. And we had fun identifying these and making sure we had the correct name. And when you take a blue-eyed grass and go to pick it and pull it up, it just slip, seems to slip out of the base and the root of the grass. It's, it's a lovely, beautiful flower. And there are several ponds on the property and we got to see fish and bass and um, this turtle was sunning itself on a rock and, we, and dragonflies were darting and diving all over the place. And my granddaughter was fast enough to grab hold of this big fat toad and hold on to it just long enough for us to take a look at it before it jumped out of his hands and got away. And we were entertained by a pair of mallards who came to visit. And I guess they were regulars at this home. And the mama and the papa um, always stick together. And they had laid eggs and we found one of the eggs down at the edge of the creek, at the edge of the pond, and picked it up because it wasn't in a nest and turned it over and saw that a bird had gotten a hold of it and had poked a hole in it and um, sucked all of the yolk and the egg out. And it was just a tiny little hole there. And um, one of the things I noticed was how bright and yellow and rich that oak was. On my eggs, the yolks are much paler, but these yolks were very bright. And we identified and noticed the difference between raspberry bushes and the wild roses. And um, I was glad to be able to that my son-in-law knew the difference between the two. And we also came upon some tiny, itty bitty wild strawberries. And of course we had to taste them and they were, even though they were bright red, they were bitter, but we declared they were the tiniest strawberries in the world. And my grandson said, this is a newt, not a salamander. And I trust him because he knows a lot more about these little guys than I do. So today, Paul Tripp in his devotion talks about worship. And what are we worshiping? Are we worshiping the creator or the creation? And he sends us over to Chronicles 16 for additional reading. And part of it says, let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. 
Let the sea resound and all that it is, all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Then the trees of the forest will sing. They will sing for joy before the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Yesterday was such a full and rich day for me with starting with the story of that powerful bear and being able to share all these delightful flowers and animals and reptiles with my family. And if at the end of the day, I had failed to praise the creator of all these wonderful things, then the heavens still would have rejoiced and the earth still would have been glad and the sea still would have resounded and the fields still would have been jubilant and the trees of the forest would still have sung for joy. So thank you for joining me at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you and God bless.